Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Crisis Wars to play online again. Since GameSpy is uh, shut down, the game server list, you've been not able to get to any other game servers anymore. Um, so it's been really sad because this game I thought was really cool when it came out in the 2008-2009 era. Um, and I miss it a lot. So I did some research online and I couldn't really find any good videos that showed how you install this mod and get it working properly and it's very easy. Um, I remember there was a mod before that wasn't that good and this one is awesome. So I'm going to show you right now. I'll go to multiplayer, internet game, and that's the new game server list. I know it looks outdated and everything, um, but it's so simple to join now. So you just, there's no sign in, no login, none of that BS anymore. So like I said, you just go to multiplayer, internet game, and then you get this uh, kind of command prompt and you hit join and you type in join and then the number of the server. So if you want to join server one, you type in join one or join nine. Uh, so I'm joining nine server right now, but uh, I think I don't have that map. Let's see here. Yep, I don't have that map. All right, so you said no, and let's actually join a server that I have a map for so I can show you how this works. Um, it's very cool uh, that you can play this game now. And there's actually servers out there that are still hosting this game, um, which I did not know there was still a community out there. Um, when I was playing last night, people from Ukraine and all over the place were, were joining, so it was really cool. And from uh, EU. Um, so let's try to join the second server here because I have that map. Yep, here we go. So I'm loading into this map, and you can see it's fully working with this simple, simple EXE mod um, that someone created. So let's go ahead and hit auto join. And there we hit. Yeah, here we go, you guys. We're in the game. I miss this game. This game was so cool. But yeah, I'll just show you that it's fully working here. And I'm actually on someone else's server in the UK, probably, or, or Germany, uh, either one. Because there's not really any USA servers. Uh, and I actually created a USA server. So if you guys wanted to join to it, um, but this is a great way to uh, get around this game spy being down issue. So, I'm going to have this in the video description, but here are three important links you need to remember. So, this one is going to is a good resource page that actually has the Crisis uh, Trial game download, and it has the Cryo Server client uh, download and the server download. So if you want to host your own server, you could download that um, as well. And it's very easy. If you have Crisis already installed, all you need is the Cryo client or the Cryo server client that I'm hovering over right now. So you just download that. You run the exe. It creates a new shortcut. So make sure you use that new shortcut when you launch the. Uh, and here's the shortcut here. So when you launch the game, you use this shortcut. Um, so. You just want to go to the properties and make sure it's pointing to the directory of your crisis server. And you want to make sure when you during the install that you cho that you choose the correct uh, destination for the mod to be installed at because it'll just install in the default directory. Um, so if that is not in the default directory, then you need to change it. So like if it's if you have crisis on Steam, you need to make sure you change that directory to where the actual file is located. And this is the path for uh, Steam games here. So like I said, that's the path that you need to make sure that's in that target location where the crisis.exe is located or it won't run the uh, exe and execute the game and then execute that mod that needs to be I uh, see that parameter after. We need to make sure you stay, keep that in there because if you remove that then the, it won't work with the mod. So let's go back to the links here. So if you already have the game installed by Steam or whatever, just a standard install, then copy this link. And this is um, to download this Cryer Server client. So you can actually go to the website and click that or this link here. And once you download it, you're going to extract it. And it's just an executable. You install it um, and run it and point it to the directory where the game file is located. And then this other one is if you need the game and the mod. Uh, and that's just a simple uh, downloads um, into a zip. You extract it, you're gonna have these two files. You need to make sure you move that um, folder into your C drive. So you can see that path is C drive uh, crisis war slash bin 64 
slash crisis.exe. So you just want to make sure that all works. Then I'm going to show you how to install it right here. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to this website. You can go to serverless and you can see if you create a server, you can see your server will actually populate on this serverless, which is really nice. Um, so then other people can find it and join it. And you can see there's quite a few other servers that are running. So if you don't want to run your own server, you can have friends join other servers and you can keep this game alive still. So now let's go ahead and I can show you how to do uh, the installs here. All right, we're going to copy this link and this is going to download the game and the mod all together. So you just go to that link, uh, download it is five gigs, but it's because that's the game file and everything with it. So just download that zip file, of course, to save time, I already downloaded it. It's on my desktop here, so I'm just going to cancel this. And then I'm going to, obviously, I already extracted that zip. And when you extract it, you get this folder, and then you get this other icon, and you put this folder into your C drive here. So yeah, go to my computer, bring this over here, and move that right into the C drive area. And then you can see, you can open it just to make sure the files are there. So you move it right in there, make sure the path is correct. And it should say C, Crisis Wars, bin file. And just make sure the EXE is there and everything should, should run no problem. And you don't need to install the mod at this point because of the mod and the game file is already there. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute this to make sure it works. And it is uh, loading up here. So I'm about to go to multiplayer and the internet game. And now we can type in join and select any server we want. I'm gonna close out and then I'm gonna show you how to do it if you already have the game file uh, or the game already installed via Steam or EXE. So go ahead and copy this other URL if you have the under already have this game, paste it in. So it's just a, like a 26 megabyte zip file here. And then we're just gonna move it to our desktop and extract it. And we're gonna get a .exe and a PDF on help files and everything like that. But all we're kinda worried about is that .exe. Now I already have it installed, so it might be a little bit different um, when you try to install it. But basically what you're trying to do is just run in this .exe and we're gonna select the path of our game file. So you just need to make sure you see that mine says C drive program files. Um, you just need to make sure that is the path of where you're, see it's right here. You'll be able to modify this um, once you do the install, you hit um, full install and custom and you want to select the path of where it's at. Uh, worst case scenario, if you install in the wrong directory, you can actually move those files into the game file directory and then it'll work fine. Um, or you can just download the full game with the mod already patched and you can do it that way as well. And you can see once it's done installing, it gives you that sh uh, shortcut and I'm just confirming the path here that it is going to the right path. And you can see I have uh, my Steam games installed on my second drive. So that's why it says E and not C. So that's why my path is actually gonna be different from maybe yours, but some people will keep their bigger game files on a second hard drive. We're gonna launch it here and make sure it works. And there you have it. Also, you wanna check the crisis client. Uh, if you see that build number there, then you know you have it installed correctly and it'll work no problem. If you don't see it, that means you're gonna be running into problems. Also, I hope this was helpful. Please, if you guys run into any issues at all, please feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you guys install it. Thank you.